happy. Well, this is Alex Benosi, um, local Birmingham skater, uh, <laughs> the best skater that's, <laughs> that's ever me. came out of Alabama. Uh, and so now he's here on your podcast. Thank you, guys. And uh, that's going to be all I have. So. Sweet. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> but, yeah, just to reiterate, we've got Alex Benosi here with us, man. It's a big day. Thanks for having me. And yeah. uh, the returning yeah. champ, uh, James Hardy, is joining us. I don't us. know about champ, but I'm just here. So I just got nothing else to do. Yeah. Come hang out with us, man. Come I hang out told with him when he called me for a job offer the other day. I was like, I'll just come drink beers and then just come chill. He in told the, me about that. What was bar? the situation with that? So he called what he thought was a coworker because we had the same area code. Right. And he was like, Are you gonna be on the job today? I was like, I mean, I can. <laughs> I was like, I'll, I'll show up. You're just down. Yeah. And he was like, Wait, who am I talking to? I was like, It's James. And he was like, Oh, shit. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to call a coworker. I'm embarrassed right now. I was like, "You want to drink beers in the basement?" I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> but yeah. here you are. Yeah. Here I was like, "I should have saved his number because I just yeah dialed crazy." <laughs> Idiot! How uh, dare you? Sorry, man. You should have saved it. Should have. I got that saved. Okay. Well, next time, just call me for a beer, not work. Called the wrong number. Anyway, well, I would have came over for a beer. You're a sweetheart, though. Right. I try to be. You're teddy bear. Try to be <laughs> as best <laughs> as I can. Well, dude, thanks for coming to hang out. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. This is really cool. I've uh, been watching all your like skate videos and stuff. Uh, super, super rad. Very talented. Thank you. Um, and you've been out in, uh, we were talking about earlier, you said you've been out in California for like the past two years now or something like that. Yeah, coming up on two years, probably since last June. Okay. First, yeah. And you grew up in Helena? Helena. Okay. Born and Sweet. raised, yeah. Yeah, he, he sent me a pen to pick him up today, and he sent me to oh, the river. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> out yeah. of the sticks <laughs> well, he was asking me where I was at and I was taking pictures with my mom in uh, Buck Creek and I sent him my current location not thinking about the fact that I wasn't going to be there in like 10 minutes he calls me and he's like where you at <laughs> yeah I was <laughs> like, like you, you don't live off this river there's no way I was like this is like downtown Helena yeah downtown and I was like this is way town. too nice I was like unless you're rich which I don't know not rich yeah okay no exactly class. so it was uh, it was funny really making it <laughs> send, send me to the river <laughs> yeah a d boy like that um <laughs> sorry that wasn't personal so how's uh what was the deciding factor for moving out west get the hell out of birmingham just to be I'm closer kidding. to everything i mean probably at the time i was trying to get out of here yeah but now i don't know you know just to see more okay see accessibility skating trying to just same old shit that everybody does sure man <laughs> small town california try to make skating mm-hmm. happen but so yeah. how's that going for you? Oh, uh, it's been crazy the last year. I don't know, COVID. Um, yeah, California's like, like been one of the strictest states as far as like mm-hmm. lockdowns and all that stuff. I mean. It's weird. It's different in different counties. Really? So Orange County is almost like Alabama. You know, making the transition from suburbia and Alabama to there is, was super easy. Uh, very laid back, suburban. People are really laid back about the mask. I don't know. It's weird so it's orange a- county further south people are not wearing masks everything's open you can go out you know eat and in la county it's just like locked out really people are weird yeah <laughs> they're all freaking out and then- <laughs> i think it's about to like lock down here soon isn't it? i'm sure it is yeah, that's yeah. all i keep hearing i, I like heard rumors. nashville lockdown because you probably i don't know if all that bomb right that went off or whatever that but then, then like i've heard from yeah there's a bombing in nashville they say it was like a terrorist attack yeah. against like at t or that? something. What? Yeah. You didn't hear you about didn't that? You didn't hear about that? I knew about the bombing. I didn't know it was a terrorist attack against at t So what I heard is that they had a about, van. Yeah. And yeah. like... The van. You saw the van? I feel like I've seen clips of it. I mean, I don't... Maybe you know more about this I don't want to say anything. I don't want to sound like that guy, but yeah. Conspiracy theories. Yeah, stuff. exactly. So... But, but apparently there was like... They were uh, announcing, you know, you need to evacuate the area and blah blah blah. they didn't want anybody to get hurt or something mm-hmm. and then the bomb went off and so i don't know man i just i haven't really been paying too much had, attention to it they had like a picture of the van you saw that yeah well they, they, the picture i saw was like the uh suspect in the driver's seat oh, okay. they were getting out so it was like a close-up of the door oh, okay so it, was a- it looked like it was like um breaking bad like van you know what i'm saying like, yeah it looked like a 
big and like RV thing. And I was like, what? I thought I thought it was a joke at first. And I was like, oh shit, this is actually like the well. Then there was the van. And yeah, was like, wasn't oh. there like a second one that there? It was just like parked somewhere, and they. Wait, wait. So, what was the intent? Yeah, how's this? How's this? We don't feed know. Into ah, it's, it's, it's all just. It was just outside. Like, yeah, those bills are high. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. No. Some dude raging against AT and T. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I, don't I don't think know Spectrum like over AT and T. I'd probably do that against Verizon right now. Sorry, Verizon. Whoa. I'm on AT and T. Just kidding. I'm not trying to go to jail. You got some beef that was a joke. I, I do not like Verizon right now. You no. and I both. <laughs> yeah. But we had. Um, there was like apparently like service disruption here in Alabama. Katie was talking about. I didn't notice anything. But oh, really? I don't know, dude. It's crazy. Dude, let's go down the conspiracy conspiracy hole. rabbit okay. hole. Dude, I try to <laughs> slow down. I try I'm to there. stay away from the conspiracy theories. Yo, man. it's like this table. This is the Earth. It's flat, bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Endless <laughs> flat. Yeah. Just kidding. All right. Anyway. All right. Let's talk skateboarding. Tangent yeah. there. So, how did you get into skateboarding in the first place? Um, my uncle and my dad were both skaters. Uh, they grew up in. Oh. Can you hear me? There you go. Yeah, yeah, there we are. We're close. All right. So, uncle, my dad, Tim, Andy Spinosi, both skaters. Um, It's only natural that they're going to pass me a skateboard. I don't know. That's That's right, man. Like three or four. Which one was the one that used to, like, be be super into skating? Was it? Both of them. Both of them? They were both. Peter was telling me about it, and I was like, oh, shit, I had no idea. Well, my dad a little more than my uncle, but they were both, I believe, flow for pal at some point during the day oh, so, shit. okay Back so the they A-day? shred yeah, yeah. all right they're like it's not skaters, like they're just like... out there skating like my dad skated you know but... yeah <laughs> right no they... he wasn't on flow for pal or anything <laughs> yeah. shout out um yeah dude i don't yeah just skaters grew up in they're both from syracuse um originally what the fuck yeah random neither of my that parents are from shit. alabama oh for so, real yeah so they grew up there too cold moved to virginia <laughs> beach started skating probably around like seven eight ten so they were like young getting into it okay and then moved to alabama and kind of dabbled in the skate scene skated here and there and then both went off to college and you know series of events they had me and then yeah, passed skating along <laughs> dude that's awesome so, yeah i think i was like three or four Whoa, gave me dude. this spongebob board no like, yeah i do remember seeing you front feeble like a like i said the 10 stair when you were like maybe eight on nine. a spongebob board not a rad. <laughs> I think that he was looked a, like killing he, it. Yeah, I couldn't even see his legs. But well, he was that like, was probably skating a rail. I was like, "What the fuck?" That was probably a ride board at the time, oh. because you know, I, Brian Kelly, owner of Ride, back in the day, he like asked me if I wanted to skate for him. Same with same with Jason and Alex. You know, we grew up all skating together mm-hmm. from the same team. And uh, wasn't um Spencer and Jerry? Jerry was Jerry around? No, Jerry came around later. Okay. I met him at Alabaster, actually. Okay, yeah. So he's from there. I see, um, yeah, I knew he was from out there. So, yeah, I don't know. Just, you know, dad and uncle, they were like skaters. Gave me a board, and then it kind of just took off from there. Awesome, man. Well, I pulled up a bunch of, like, videos. I was trying to surf you on YouTube and stuff, and uh, a oh, lot of Alabaster Park, man. <laughs> like, there is the worst video. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a good story that I told him earlier when we were at dinner. I was like, one time, because I was just trying to go there, to the what's that park called veterans veterans, veterans yeah. park yeah okay. yeah and i was like i was just trying to go there one day and i had to put a helmet on you know pay the money and got some wristband and everything and i walk in and there's this little peewee kid <clears throat> skating the big rail there as soon as you walk in okay and the kid did a front feeble down the rail and a helmet and like pads and all this and i was like i'm not skating here and it was him <laughs> i'm yeah, done him. Yeah. Not my i didn't find it out for like a long time but i was like that was that fucking guy but there's no so, way it was a front feeble it was a front feeble i couldn't front feeble at that time well dude you got him unlocked <laughs> now <That came> later <laughs> i'm telling you it was a front feeble and so so does everybody though mm-hmm. everybody can do a front feeble and 2021 i can't do a front feeble in 2021 i probably can't either. i can't even dude i probably couldn't even kick flip right now yeah so. i could out drink anybody but i'm not doing a front feeble to anybody <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> i've seen you do plenty oh no Ooh. maybe with enough uh, drinks yeah yeah confidence mm-hmm. yeah there you go me and peter will uh agree to that okay <laughs> so you're skating the veterans park a lot and uh obviously getting pretty good showing up james doing front feebles down the yeah i was seeing yeah. him do all his tricks and i just take him like i don't know I was just trying to take all James's tricks. Just one up him just <laughs> no, constantly. Not at all. <laughs> no, I he, probably he saw did. you skating though and was like, "Fuck, I got to learn Barley's now." You know what? I did do a <laughs> stupid ass demo for the opening. Do you remember that? At Ride at Veterans. Veterans. You did a demo. 
Um, Real did a demo. Yeah. Real did a demo. Okay. Yeah. No, no, they did one at the tennis court in Hoover. Remember that? JT Alts, Dennis Busenitz. I don't no, remember no, there ever no. being a demo at Rock. There's a board. Um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember. He used to work for Ride. I just gave him a board. Uh, I can't remember his name right now, but I gave him a board from the demo of the opening of that skate park. Oh, dude. I don't. Yeah, Just Jason Ferris was there. Ernie was Ernie Torres was there. Max Schaff was there. Really? I, was, I think Nick Dompier was there. But I remember that. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Now. Yeah, yeah, Nick Dompier. So, funny background story to that is my uncle pulled me out of school because the real team was like skating the park. It was for a demo. For a demo. Yeah. But it was before the demo. And my uncle was like, So they're just up there, like, hanging out. And they're they're like, up there. Oh, you gotta be out. there. We man. Didn't, I don't. I think you were just there for the demo, though. No, no. My uncle actually, like, pulled me out of school to go see them skate. <laughs> like, I, I skated the fives. I remember Nick uh, Dompier, like, ollied up the five from flat. And I was mm-hmm. like, tripping. Dude. <laughs> a little kid. I was like, What? That's so rad. That's I mean, crazy. I was like, That's not even possible. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I was 16. How old are you? 23. Yeah. Yeah, you were like, just a kid yeah baby still a baby 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 yes <laughs> still a kid yeah <laughs> so how did you you said you know obviously the veterans park uh ride is like right there part of the park is that where ride is or was ride somewhere or so what was that shop that originally was there? it was right off of lorna road in hoover okay um it was just a shop small little section i vaguely then, remember it yeah yeah i was there for i want to say i don't know it's you know, it's been so long, but maybe mm. five years, and then it started growing more to the point where they're like, oh, we can get a skate park going. Um, so the shop for Ride started before the Veterans Park came around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Trip down memory lane here. Trip down memory lane. <laughs> yeah, so it started off originally the skate shop, and then Alabaster was like, yeah, we want a skate park, this and that. I think mm-hmm. it'd be perfect, whatever. I don't know the whole story, but... Was yeah. Brian Kelly a part of, like, getting that park <laughs> He was, built like, the guy. Stu- he was, like, the guy. He okay. was the guy, yeah. He made awesome. everything happen. So once is that a public or I guess it's a privately owned park or is it a public park? It's city. Do you it's owned by the city. It's like a private city. Do you still have to pay to go skate there? Yeah. What the fuck? It's two dollars. See, that's what I don't and get. And a dollar if it's for a the public home. park. That's crazy. Well, that yeah, was not that I would theme. go drive out there anyway, but yeah, and, and a lot of people don't. They're like, I'm not going to drive 30, 40 yeah. minutes to go skate a park that you have to pay five dollars yeah. to skate with a helmet. You know? Yeah, yeah and it's like every, yeah, and everything's like huge there. Yeah. Big ass bowl. It even rails. got to a point. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> this little motherfucker was really. skating all that shit back when he was a kid. But like, yeah, I was like, I'm not just, coming back out here. Just all that was in front of me. Kind of didn't have a choice. But. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but yeah, so kind of got to the point too where it went from privately owned, like Ride mm-hmm. owned it. It was like the Ride skate park, and then you know a bunch of stuff happened. They ended up losing the park, and then it was city owned. And it was weird to go from being able to skate for free as a kid, like on the team, to just me having to pay two dollars, like, yeah. like not knowing the dude behind the desk, you know. Mm. So I was like, dude, come on! I grew up at this skate park. Are you <laughs> charging me right now? Like, I don't even know who you are. You don't know who I am. You know, it was super weird. But yeah, no, I never got to. I never skated it much. Obviously, I didn't have a car, and being an alabaster, and me <clears> growing <throat> up on the other side of town, just mm-hmm. being really far away. It's, it was I don't have too, many memories going there. You too know? much of a drive yeah i was like i said the one time i showed up i had, I had to put a helmet on and i felt like a dork and then all of a sudden i saw this little dork doing a, <laughs> like a front people and i was like i'm out of here i was like i'm not skating here right now <laughs> the only people who skated it were like local alabaster yeah. kids you know sure so jerry he was there all the time right jerry i met jerry later um yeah i started hanging out okay. just through time you know i'd see him all the time at the park and then eventually next thing i know he's like at my house we're freaking <laughs> <laughs> you know and we're still hanging out to this day with mama spinosi so when you out. weren't skating the alabaster park where were you skating growing up uh driveway my house driveway <laughs> yeah <laughs> what? well just from living so just because of living so far away from the city my mom didn't really let me out you know okay it was kind of hard to get downtown so once the skate shop actually closed and it was just city owned i'd go there still and I'd skate my driveway or just like around Helena with friends, but mm-hmm. I didn't. I kind of missed out on like. The, I didn't know Birmingham or the scene at all until I was probably sixteen. How did you meet Cricket? Cricket? Yeah. So my uncle started bringing. You know, my uncle would bring me down to Faith yeah. to get shoes every once in a while, and eventually, 
started coming around more and then would see jason and alex and everybody mm-hmm. skating with him and going out and dude it i tried so hard to like <coughs> get in with him i remember being a kid like oh shit like i want to hang out with you guys like you guys are all sick like y'all skate and film. so cool yeah and it took <laughs> it took me a while like i think but i was like 17 I was yeah because like, i knew you i knew you as like you know a small <clears throat> kid and all of a sudden like you were you know bigger and then i became friends with cricket that's when i was filming like that part or whatever and then cricket just kept being like yo this kid did this this kid did that i was like who he's like this kid alex Bonosi. i was like it's not the same kid he's like it might be and i was like <laughs> oh shit i was like all right and then that's kind of how i got introduced to you too at the i don't same really time. know how that came about no like, either yeah. i just started skating with jason and them again mm-hmm. and turner and like charlie a little bit coming to the shop okay and yeah. dude it took me so long to actually like film with cricket to skate with cricket like i would go to spots with him and he would just not point the camera at me and i'd be all hurt <laughs> i'd be a little kid i'd be like dude what am i like not cool <laughs> you know trying stuff cr- to you, crickets over there like oh no it's, it's not a big deal Cricket's it's like just... dude it's whatever like i don't yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. charlie man i remember that dude had the tightest is that the same guy that had Charlie. like the tightest pants with them? Mm-hmm. I'd see him up at Holwood Park and stuff. Charlie's a legend, dude. He's dude, so I remember when he uh, he ollied the set the um, the set of stairs outside the theater, the the rave theater at sixteen on thirty one. No, yeah, you're talking about Charlie Young. Charlie Young. Oh, I'm talking about a different Charlie. You're That's talking about Charlie Young. You're t- yeah. Who are you talking about, Charlie? I'm talking about Charlie Gilmore. Oh, Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. Charlie I don't know Young. all these dudes. Um. So. Well, anyways, they Charlie me. Young. He gap that giant set of stairs and i just always remember that I yeah like, How the hell? i remember that too like, like we would go there and watch movies and i'm like dude he ollied this uh-huh. this is so massive so yeah. big so big still dude. so big <laughs> yeah, crazy huge. yeah i would so never do that to my body now to jump down that yeah thing for no reason <laughs> yeah 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 exactly just for so. fun so you said your uncle's bringing you around faith and buying you stuff how did you kind of get hooked up with peter and start hanging around with them more in the whole faith crew i guess just uh just trying to, I don't know, got a car finally. Got a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big step. Yeah. Yeah. Because I already knew Alex and Jason and some of the people that were already kind of in the Birmingham scene, like the younger kids from Ride. Okay. Uh, we grew up on the team together and then kind of got separated just because of like the distance, you know, Helena to Birmingham, and not having transportation or a way to get down. Eventually, I don't know. I just started coming around more, like hanging out with them and yeah just trying to get into the mix like hang out with everybody that was skating or around at least you know? i feel like cricket like kind of like took you under his wing a little bit yeah definitely kind of like i was like he's just gonna be around it's just what's what it's gonna be there's is cricket just like a local filmer who is cricket? um cricket is our old buddy he how do i explain this shortly without being too long so he used to film for ruka <laughs> Back in the day, okay. yeah, RVCA, yeah, the yeah, company, yeah. Yeah. and he lived out in California, knew everybody through skateboarding, like, <clears> you know, he filmed with, like, Leo Romero and uh, Ed Templeton, you know, like, a bunch of old cats, and then, okay. uh, but he went to college at University of Alabama, and so <laughs> when the filming thing kind of fell through, he moved back here, didn't know anybody, all of a sudden got a place directly across the street from Faith, and then just started rolling in there, and, like, skating the curb out in the front and people were like is this dude gonna buy something like who is this dude <laughs> you know like just really was kind of like standoffish a little bit but then he started getting in with everybody and then um and then someone found out that he filmed for those companies and put out really good videos and so he kind of took kids under his wing or you know kind of helped him you know with filming stuff like you jason yeah. Alex, the talent. My, myself you yeah. know he once i became friends with him he helped me film that um homecoming part uh, okay yeah, yeah so he's the one that filmed that so he uh he just kind of got plugged in and then yeah he always had like a better eye or you know kind of looked out for kids a little bit more than maybe i should have sorry but no <laughs> well it kind of seemed also he was like when i met him like obviously he's not from here mm-hmm. but he was like stoked on skating like he was trying to get out and then us being little kids we were like we want to skate funny thing is so he, he actually is working. from alabama he just never talks oh, about really? it yeah i just always assumed he was like he's from mobile from miami or something uh-uh. he's from mobile that's so funny yeah he just never talked about it he was like always yeah, like a wild card <laughs> but yeah like i remember when we went and skated ymca yeah and that back 150 i was talking about i was like who in the world is this kid he's like oh it's alec i was like alex Benosi. He's like, yeah. I was like, that kid's bigger now. 
<laughs> yeah <laughs> still small yeah but still small but like i just remember being like oh crazy i was like how do you know him he's like oh no he just comes around and skates so i give a lot of credit to cricket for yeah. a lot of our uh success or help in skating so so yeah, what was the first around. like video project that you started working on that you were like obviously you're driving say. now maybe 16 or so there was never really a project i would just go out with him and film and okay. skate and we'd see what we get you know and then i think some of those clips he's too it. good he doesn't have to worry about actually focusing <laughs> on something <laughs> <laughs> well i think it just made it some clips made it into like uh reason to believe the second one yeah and that was like i think i had a dude i think i had a I think he had clip a part. of me eating shit in the intro and that was it oh. and i was so stoked <laughs> <laughs> i was like i made it <laughs> i made it i'm in here um but yeah i don't know well just surfing your videos on youtube and stuff um one of the it seemed like an older one that popped up was the syndicate part yeah now was that part of a bigger video or was that just a single part that you put out so that was like a single part my friend we have some friends from albany uh new york okay and you know met them through mutual friends and they all ended up moving here to birmingham and really? just through skating yeah just through skating and mutual friends we ended up skating together and um one of our friends, Pat, Pat Swift, a super good dude. He was trying to film and put out Syndicate. Mm -hmm. And just over like the span of like six months to a year, we just collected a bunch of footage and threw it in the video. Okay. So, and that was kind of right before I started to like go out west or move out there, you know? So did you start traveling out there just to like hang with friends that you had met or, or well, you going out there? The first, I went there probably three times before I actually moved there, thinking that every single time I went there I was going to stay, but obviously I just didn't know what I was doing. Okay, <laughs> sure. Know? So, yeah, I went out there, met some people. My friends lived there, kind of got a feel for it, came back, you know. I would, like, come back, get grounded, and go back, and then mm -hmm. until eventually. He only started staying there once he learned how to surf. Yeah. That's all it takes, Once I started man. surfing, I was like, I'm not. He's a big surfer now. <laughs> Love that shit. Dude, that's <laughs> awesome. So where do you live in California? I live in Long Beach. Long Beach, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I've been there for a couple months now, probably six months. Originally, I went to Huntington, and that was the first place I lived at. Mm. Was I surfed Huntington one time. Yeah. It's sick, dude. Can you surf? It's a nice place. Yeah, where were you at in California? I was, okay, my only story from Huntington, <laughs> we went and surfed, and the surf was too big for me, and I'm on a longboard. I can't surf. And I couldn't either, really. I, I just paddled around, tried, <laughs> wiped out, and got on other people's nerves. And I remember somebody, the big Huntington Pier, Yeah. I vaguely heard somebody say, it sounded like they said shark from the pier. And I looked around, and everybody's just, like, sitting in the water. And I'm like, should we get out? Or is they are they joking? And I didn't know what to think about it. So we stayed in the water and nothing happened. But then later I thought about that and I'm like, I wonder if there was really a shark or if somebody really saw something. And there could know. have been. You know, you never know. They're probably I got rescued one time trying to surf. Yeah, you told me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Stuck in the riptide. Yeah, I got stuck in a riptide. Oh, <laughs> dude. Me and Gilbert Crockett. It sucked. That's so scary. Yeah. We had I've some, heard like, stories about it, but I've never experienced like, We were that. just like kind of like treading water, just talking shit because we couldn't surf that well. And, you just uh, see the beach going away from you. Yeah, yeah. Like the, you know, like the... Um, the shoreline you know i was like man that's kind of far now like what the, what the fuck's going on do you even on? notice like what's what's it like in a riptide is you don't it like really a notice river or you're just like being drugged yeah it, well i mean you don't really notice because you're just staying on top of the sure, water but yeah. it's pushing you out and uh i remember all of a sudden i was like there's some baywatch babe coming up on a sea dew with like this weird like a table on the back of her sea dew and i was like what the fuck's she doing? And then um, she's like, "You're 200 yards away from yeah, the beach. Yeah, yeah. She's get like, on. you're she, gonna drown." All she said, she was just like, "Grab hold." I was like, "Why?" She's like, "You're stuck in a <laughs> stuck in a riptide." I was like, "I was Why? like, we're just yeah. hanging out." She, she's like, you're "No, we're good." Yeah, yeah, we're good. Well, yeah. She's like, "You're stuck in a riptide." I was like, "What is that?" You know, I'm from Alabama. I don't know anything about that. What's and then uh, she's like, "Grab hold now!" And so me and Crockett just looked at each other like, "All right." So we beached ourselves, yeah, like yeah. the Little Mermaid, pretty much, and like we're just getting. You know, like drug back to the shore, and like we look, you know, just like arching our back, just like look like models or ugly models. And uh, we get close to the shoreline, and there's like a ton of people, and they're all like gathered around. I was like, what, what the fuck are they doing? And then once we got close, everybody started clapping. I was like, oh, whoa, oh, okay, so it was like a big deal. <laughs> like everybody's on the beach. Like, I mean, I guess these to kids us, are about to drown. Yeah, I mean, to me and crockett who's from virginia he doesn't really he's from richmond he's not from like you know like close to the coast oh, we didn't we didn't fucking know 
so we look yeah. like idiots. You get on a hey y'all, yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. And he was Howdy. like, he was like on a date that day, and like as soon as like she like hauled ass onto the shore, and then like everyone's like, and I was like, yo, I'm I'm out. I was like, good luck with that date. I was like, I'm out of here. I'm going back to the warehouse. So hectic. <laughs> yeah, it was so embarrassing. That's crazy. Well, how'd you get into surfing? Uh. I was super burnt out on skating when I moved there, <laughs> and I live like yeah. a mile from the Speed beach. It like Do it something is. else. No, I'm being honest. I was like super just burnt out. I was like, "Fuck, I'm not stoked on skating." Mm. That was something new, you know. Sure. Just I don't know. Skating just didn't feel the same, and I was like skating for the wrong reasons. To be honest, like I don't know. I live like a mile away from the Huntington Pier, so. Dude, that's so rad, man. It just got into. Cool. You ever go fishing? No, hmm. I should. I see people fishing out there. Well, all you're the too time. busy surfing, but I just wondered. Yeah. See, that's like the only way I'll go to the beach because I'm not a beach person. <laughs> like I grew up in Helena. I'm terrified of the ocean. I, I hate, hate the ocean. I hate the I'm beach. terrified of the ocean too. <laughs> I hate the ocean. What? Yeah. Shut up. I don't like the ocean. I'm. I'll, I can. I'll fuck with rivers all day. I don't like the ocean. Our parents <laughs> take us took us to the beach every year. When okay, we let me rephrase. I'm. We go to the beach and stay on the beach eight hours a day. The beach is different from the ocean. I'm. I'm like okay. once you get out in like <laughs> once I get out in like deep water. You're scared of like I'm. I get a little freaked out. Yeah. You know, like okay. I think Kevin James has a joke. He's like, I react the same if a piece of seaweed touches my leg, or if I'm getting attacked by a shark. <laughs> I'm the same, same reaction. way. Yeah. Well, the same way. It's funny because somebody told me they're like, and this really did help, but it's kind of messed up that they would say this. I mean, it's kind of true, but they're like, you're not gonna know that you're getting attacked by a shark until you're getting attacked by a shark until it's over so I was like alright so you might as well just forget about it so I just came to terms came to terms with that <laughs> nah, 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 blind I've, I've seen stuff nah. here and there but from what I've heard is it's so rare yeah you know it's like yeah you can't think about they it they don't want to mess with you you know sure like if somebody gets bit it's on accident or they're yeah. you're, I mean you're in a, you're in their leg. den I know that's why I stay <laughs> yeah. out of their den I don't go to my neighbor's den exactly because I don't want to fuck them up and so it's like they don't want to fuck me up I'm staying out of their den yeah understandable but no respectable <laughs> well I spent Hate a, the ocean. I spent a summer living out in uh, like Marina del Rey area basically Venice yeah and so the place I was staying at we could walk to the Venice Pier and there's a they call it the breakwater which is like a little bit down the path mm-hmm. i don't know if you're familiar with venice at all i don't really know that area too well but that's where we would surf and it was always crappy you know and then i had a buddy of mine and he would kind of take me to other surf spots he was more familiar with kind of like where the good surf was and um i sucked i didn't i was not good at surfing at all this but one. i do remember being out there one morning and I, we saw a dolphin Mm-hmm. And those things are giant, dude. Yeah. And like Massive. just the thought of a g- big animal, and it's not like the Gulf, man. The water's like pitch black; you can't see anything. Yeah, yeah and it's then cold. this dolphin, cold as hell. Yeah, super cold. You have to have a wetsuit and the whole nine. But we saw this dolphin just kind of breach, and it was probably from like media year. Yeah, and just that <laughs> they'll get really close. dude. I was just like, okay, they'll hit keep your, calm, keep they'll calm, like keep calm. scrape your leg. Yeah, man. Pull up next to you. Do you have a wetsuit? It's cold as shit out there. Yeah. Yeah, I got a wet suit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's just too much work. Yeah. It's seemed... never been hit by the board or anything? Or have any oh, like, dude, massive wipeouts? The last scars I've gotten, like the last 10 years, were all from surfing in the last two. Like, I was getting smoked. Like, I busted my eye open. <sighs> dude. Um, I, surfing? I just broke my nose again probably five months ago. Like, smashed my face on the sand. Oh. Now, are you surfing like a short board? Or are you yeah, on a long board? Sh- I have a short board. Okay, so you're that guy. He's like, cool, I'm man. out there on the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the 10 well, footer, you know, yeah, surfing exactly, baby waves. Yeah. Like, I, I was just, never cool enough to. It's it's really hard. I think it's people extreme. You're basically like up to here in water like on a long board i feel like yeah it's like basically a boat it's you know? more forgiving yeah. you're like yeah. you're sitting it's like a boat yeah, yeah. you know you can get you can catch any boat. little wave versus like the short boards like a lot more work yeah. yeah yeah and i think anybody who skates or has that coordination picks it up hell no it's a matter of like how much time hell i got no. up pretty quick not to toot my own horn but i did when we went i, I feel like third or fourth like try i was up for yeah. real? Now, granted, I was on like a 15 foot board <laughs> yeah. and like the went, smallest it's way. It's like standing up on a John boat. You don't tell yeah. people I'm that. I'm surfing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> standing I'll, up on a kayak. Another, another time I went with Crockett is kayak. he tried to stand up on like, I guess it was a shorter board, but he tried to stand up on it and he ate shit. And um, as soon as he came out of the water, the board hit him in the back of the head from the oh. wave he tried to catch. And I just was like, man, we're, we're, we're idiots. We're I was like, let's, <laughs> let's leave. It just takes, uh, it just takes time. Yeah, hell like, I, I, could, I, I, just, I just could never learn the etiquette of like where i needed to be on the right part of the wave and i was always afraid that i was in like 
somebody else's way you know and yeah, i'm trying to it. like abide by the rules and but i just like paddled and paddled and paddled and paddled and i was never in the right spot and i barely ever caught waves you <laughs> yeah. know and then there's and, all these other dudes and i'm just trying to like not get my ass kicked you know especially yep. there huntington or that area it's dude it's kind of like going to a skate park and everybody's pro and they're not letting you go yeah like, i've been you probably were in people's way like i'm I, sure I, I was yeah i'm in people's way all the time <laughs> but i don't care like because well. i don't know it's a it's a weird sport people are people are mean it's like worse than skating people are very like aggressive <laughs> there's only so many waves i guess i don't know yeah. i know like where we were surfing the waves were crap and um any good wave any good set that did come in it was like everybody was on top of it yeah and so i'd always be like way off to the side like just trying to catch like the edge of the wave that Whatever came my can, way you know there's yeah. like the sweet spot and then i'm way over here yeah no, just, they, you, yeah. can, you can have that and, stuff out. You know, if anybody's anybody who's like a good person out there will be like, all right, I'll let you get, you know, they're going to understand where you're coming from. But occasionally you got your, your dudes that are like, no, I'm sponsored. I'm fucking. <laughs> Stickers all over the you're boards gonna, and stuff. Like, yeah. You're not going to waste this wave for me. Yeah. yeah. And that's how they see it. And you're like, fuck, dude. I, oh, like, I just want to <laughs> stand up. I just want to stand up. Yeah. Wanna surf, I just want to surf. I just want to enjoy the sport and just yeah. to feel it, you know. And I, I don't know. I think anybody can do it. It's just like. Like me, I just was literally a block down the street and I was burnt out on skating. So every day I probably went 300 and 300 days a year this past year. <laughs> wow, every, man. Every morning don't at like 530. Don't you go before you go to work? Mm-hmm. Every day? I would go to work at 1120. So it's not even. Like okay. Yeah. All right. So let's crank it back a little bit. So um, you move out <laughs> to California to pursue skating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and at that point, do you have any like. I don't even know how to ask, but like, do you have any opportunities that are starting to present themselves like that maybe you should, Here and you there. could possibly start a career doing that? It's or just something? like so slow. It's just super slow. I mean, not for everybody. You know better than I do. I don't know. <laughs> you know? It's, you know more than it's I di- do. But Still you know more about how it is. I was about to say days. there's such a, it's, like, a, it's a very big difference from where, it's like, because when person, I was 16, yeah. that was 16 years ago. Okay. So it's a lot different than someone like him. It's a lot younger than I am to figure it out. So he knows more about trying to come up in this generation than I do when I came up with my generation. Like how me and Ben kind of talked about it. Sure. So it's like I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I know what he's going through. It's a, it's a lot different with Instagram, social media, those expectations, you know. So, um, yeah, I can't really speak for how hard it's, it is for him. It's it's a lot different. I, I think I said this last podcast, I don't envy anybody that's trying to make it in skateboarding right now. Yeah. It's a very tough game, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a weird experience. Um, it's different for everybody. Some people, are, they move out there and they go pro in like a year. And sure. Some people, it's different, you know. It just depends what you want out of it, I guess. Um, so. It's just more of being there like in the middle of it just you know just being in the surrounded by it and the culture and all that stuff yeah sure you know is this um uh i watched the variety volume one and two awesome parts man really really cool Mm -hmm. so where are we on the time frame as far as volume one coming out and you going to california is that were you filming that out there yeah i filmed most of that out there um my friend tyler bamdis he's the one who filmed the videos okay Um, he was my roommate for a little bit and kind of the one that made all that i mean he was like the one who made the video is that just like a friend's video it's like hey we're all gonna get together we're just gonna do a cool video it was just a homie's video yeah and i'd say i started going out there and filming you know over time like two years kind of fell into place i had enough footage for that and he put it out yeah that was probably two years ago okay still really rad man he got picked up by what trans world or thrasher Mm -hmm. Um, yeah he put it on thrasher tarsher no. Tarsher. <laughs> um, and then uh, I was watching it, and I saw that uh, Pedro had a part in it, and he's yeah. obviously blown up, and I see him well, everywhere now. It's crazy. So it's actually funny because everybody in the video, but including Tyler, the person, who, my homie who made it, he's from Florida. They're from, like, Deerfield, Boca, like, Jupiter area, like, southern Florida. Oh, okay. So they all came from the same place, you know. So I moved there, and met everybody that had already met everybody through woodward you know so everybody went to woodward and met each other like either so they're all from florida they go to woodward everybody like, is from florida or lucky they're from sons woodward, of bitches and then they linked up in california and i'm like just now <laughs> trying sons to, like, of bitches get in there. <laughs> yeah. but i cool, never, got, I never got to go to woodward i look back at it now like the videos are sick 
You know, no, yeah, like you had yeah, last yeah, part, yeah. which was rad. I don't you care know. about that. That's so cool. The fact that my friend was like able to make it happen, you know, he yeah. put a lot of work into that. I stressed a lot over it. <laughs> All so, friends did. did you guys immediately start working on a volume two after it came out? Just start, um, just kept filming. I it guess took some time. Yeah. yeah, he. I know he had ideas of getting a second one out, and then just over time, it kind of fell into place. He just had a bunch of footage. A lot of the same friends and stuff in the second yeah. video. Actually, it was a different. Like, a, it was a couple of different people. So the first video was like, I'm trying to calculate it all in my head. Who was take your time. the time? Different. Okay, I'll just say it was a different. Maybe it was people. On <laughs> okay, <board>. sure. Yeah, <laughs> okay. You know? so, yeah, it was cool. He's know. a little fried. I mean, he did send me to a river this morning <clears throat> to pick him up. So a little fried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little fried. So yeah, definitely. Fried. I've been in California. When you sent me to a river. I was trying to go to your mom's house, and you sent me to a river. It's the same thing. It's all right. I like still love you. Street. Love you too. <laughs> okay, so what do you think is different about Birmingham now than back when you went out to California? Uh, not much. It's only been two years. Much. Not yeah. It honestly feels like I woke up. I, just, I remember like we were like again. rolling through like the city. You're like, "What the fuck is that?" And I was like, "Oh." I, was like, I will say like, yeah, landmarks and like buildings are different. I'm yeah. Like, Dude, when the fuck did they throw that up? You know, like we do that every day living here every day every day we're like what the hell is that Uh that's crazy yeah Yeah. aside from that i mean everybody's still hanging out you know peter's doing his thing shop is fucking killing it dude yeah yeah it's It's a landmark here for faith (laughs) i know so when the skate park gets opened up we can expect you to be back yeah definitely move okay can i be your filmer i've been just like licking my chops to skate that (laughs) dude man that's all we talk about anything skate related i bring up the park and just how stoked i am i gotta come to the shop and get a board and like learn how to skate again so i'll grip it for you thanks yeah i can grip my own board no i want to do it myself (laughs) that was a test and you passed with flying colors yeah thanks (laughs) um so, anything you miss about Alabama being out in California, or how, what's the timeline for staying out west and, and skating and stuff? Oh, it's been a blur. <laughs> okay, it's been no real, yeah, set time frame. I mean, anything. out there, it's kind of just like every day feels the same. You know, mm-hmm. so it's hard to keep up with like time. Like, well, there's no like clouds. There's no like weather change. Yeah, it's the same. And sunny. Same every five day. and sunny every damn day. Yeah, it probably yeah. rained like four times. In the I lived out there for three. four <laughs> years, and it felt like forty <laughs> years because it was weird. like every day was the same. Yeah. You need that, like, you need that change. You need, like, rain, you need snow, you need cold weather, you need hot mm-hmm. weather. If not, you're just, like, your time, your day's blending, you know? You think we're spoiled in Alabama because we get it all? Yeah. Fuck yeah, and it's, it's awesome. It's sick because of that, you know? Yeah, I think yeah it's, it's really kick-ass. Sick. It's sick because of it. it's, like, everything it's, that California isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get to get, we get like, right now it's, like, you know, every, every tree is brown, and then in the spring everything's going to be green, and then in the summer you're going to be cursing up and down because of fucking how hot it is, and then in the fall you're like, ooh, it feels good, and then once it gets cold again you're like, damn it, it's cold. Yeah. yeah. It's so kind of a mixed get, bag. Get, I guess I should appreciate that You get to more. be happy and it. bitch about it all at the same time yeah. all year long. You so. can't have it both ways. It's always going to be No. Same. California, <laughs> you just get numb, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just like, pfft. every day, like you said, every day's the same, kind of runs together. I will say though it's nice because everything's slow here. Like, yeah, people are kind of just hanging out. You know, there it's like everybody's. It's a rat. It's a rat race. Rat race. Making, yeah. Yeah, trying to make it. Well, you're obviously doing something right, man. You're on flow for like a lot of cool. Uh, I've been lucky. <laughs> companies and then the the southwest part that you put out. I think that's your most recent yeah, thing that's the happened. Yeah, the that was super cool, man. It seems like you're definitely making progress in the sport. And I don't know. I'm just trying to do what I can. Trying okay. to skate. Stay man, kind of mad you did the Bronson boys like that when they came to town and you showed them all up. Huh? And then would, how you did the Bronson boys like that when they came to Ooh. town and you showed them all up. It was Pedro and Jamie. I was just trying to keep up with them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. Uh, yeah, um, that was good. No. So how did you get teamed up with the uh, like the deluxe guys and stuff? Like how did that um, work out? Through Peter, kind of. Okay. Well, I started off like shop flow. Um, actually, Mike Falco. So our friend Mike Falco from Albany, he was friends with this one of the homies, Cody Rosenthal from Albany, and he actually Cody moved to deluxe like years ago and started, mm-hmm. or he moved to SF. He, and he started worked, working for Deluxe. Yeah, he worked for Deluxe. Yeah. So once I met Mike, he was just like, hey, like, I know this <coughs> kid, like, I don't know, he, like, he was good at skating. He told Cody, and then Cody, like, told somebody else, and they're like, yeah, we'll send him some stuff. So they kind of just all Start hooking up. you up with stuff. Yeah. Dude, that's cool, man. That's awesome. Dude, I'm, yeah, I'm stoked. <laughs> I was, like, freaking out, <laughs> you know? So. I didn't think that was possible. 
I, you know, I don't really know the industry, but you guys are working on volume two, and that came out before the Southwest part with Transworld. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so transitioning from the volume two to the working for, on the Transworld thing, like how does that, does Transworld approach you and say, hey, we'd like to, So I had, are you just constantly stockpiling footage just to give to any, whatever the next project well, is? Well, at the time, so um, I just had a friend who had connects, you know, Tyler, my friend, obviously he had, knew people at Transworld and then some other people I knew that filmed out there. Mm. They knew whoever, you know, to talk to at Transworld. But I had a bunch of footage. Okay, so I broke my collarbone in March, <laughs> like last year. Okay, how'd that happen? Uh, just skating. Just, just okay. Yeah, just caught Just up. skating. <laughs> just caught up with me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it wasn't playing my cards right. So I broke my collarbone <laughs> and then was out for like four months. But I was like, dude, I have all this footage I've been filming. No, for like the last couple of months and we just put it out i just didn't want to sit on it for a super long time but sure yeah and it just kind of worked out i was like yo we try to put this out for me like i don't know anybody <laughs> like, i don't want to wait like two years to put this out like i don't know you so know? you reached out to tyler and said that yeah my friend Ty uh, tyler and then my homie bryce Pagder in california he's super good dude okay farmer. so they just both knew people and they're like yeah they're on board like i'll throw this edit together and We'll give it to them and they'll post it. And I was like, "Cool." So, sweet man. I was stoked. I was stoked on it. I don't know. I just had a bunch of footage. I, was like, <laughs> I just don't want to wait. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I guess you want to sit on it. Yeah. Well, because you just look different sometimes, and if you <clears throat> combine the footage, it kind of. It's like is this even the same guy? Hair grows out, or you get a beard, or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, for me. Anyway. Or for you, you grow a foot. <laughs> don't you look like the same person? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, yeah, it's just like you know your kits might change or. Yeah. Your hair was long as could be a second ago. It now was you got dark this. and brown, and then no, no, point, it was like short long and beautiful. Long. So yeah, um, but yeah, <laughs> things just look different. So you kind of put it out when it looks all kind of the same. Yeah. So sure. Now you said earlier that you kind of had a period where you kind of burn out on skating and just surfing a lot more. Is that period? Are you back into like charging oh, and yeah. like getting back in skating and stuff? <laughs> I'm like really stoked on skating right now. Okay. Yeah, and I think surfing helped that too. Where I was like. Dang, I haven't skated in like a month. You, you know? get back at it, and you're like, "Oh, this feels fresh." It feels a month, again. and you can still do that shit. Not a month. I was excited. Damn. But there, I mean, shit, just, just got to the bitch. point where I was like, "I don't want to film. I don't want to skate. I don't want to like get hurt." Like, yeah. But I want to like play in water. So I was probably <laughs> like, okay, "You know, that sounds so nice and like relieving on your body." I was like, "Play in water." Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I don't know. Speaking of hurt, man, I, I was surfing your Instagram and that, uh, I don't know how recent it was, but that gap over the the two rails. Oh, I knew this was And you landed it so clean oh, and then you came down. God. I think she's going to pull it off right now. Yeah. So, uh, oh, you, you get can see it right here. That's how I, that's, yeah, so you can see it. That's how I broke my collar. Check it out. So, oh, that was it. God. <laughs> that was it. Oh, yeah. dude. <clears throat> man. Um, well, it was actually funny because my friends were, but some people around me were posting see a slam, send a slam. Or see a slam, post a slam, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I like did that the next day after my friends were like tagging me in that. I was like, here you go, fucking broke my collar, man. <sighs> Dude, dang. It was mellow. It literally that I can't even like remember. Like that three or four months went by so quick. Like, I've separated my shoulder a couple times and it never really hurts that bad. But I've heard it's like the, it's like the most minor injury. Yeah, yeah. You know? I separated Is that mine one day, like on a Sunday, skating with Dwayne in Tuscaloosa Park. Oh sh yeah. And then like next day I was like having to go up like an extension ladder or you know, just one hand and I was like, Yeah, it's not too bad. So it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Shoulders aren't that bad. Did you just pop it back in? I mean, what do you do when that happens? <clears throat> no. Or you Separate just like, wait it out? Yeah, you just wait it out. You kinda get this weird knot. Was yeah. it the clap like you broke your collarbone though? Or? No, no, no. Uh separated my shoulder. So there's a bone from So like, I associate that with like your, popping it out of place. Yeah, this is your collar, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm up here there's, <laughs> Zach, a, right? there's a point where your collar bone and i forget what that bone is but they meet and it can separate and just kind of come down a little bit so, so i've separated like back. both but anyway it was whatever but yeah is that the worst injury you've had skating yeah i think that was that's pretty bad man i never broke my collarbone but i imagine it hurt i was freaking out but my friends were all like like yeah. uh you were freaking they out before <laughs> they're like dude you're gonna be okay like, yeah it's your collarbone they're like this is like the least of your worries like it could have been a compound fracture or something you know 
and I'm freaking out because I'm like, I could. That was the first time I felt that. Oh like, yeah, well, I mean, you not. just touch it and you're like, oh, this is broken. <laughs> this is yeah. bad. Well, as soon as it happened too, I got up after that video and I was like, I went to take my hoodie off and I was like, <laughs> it like clicked. Oh, and I was like, oh god. I was like, there it is. <laughs> like, okay. Been waiting on that one for a minute. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm only a freaked out when like I broke my arm. It's the only time I was like freaked uh, out. I've never done that. Yeah. Just it's like when it does like rare. the Z shit. Yeah. The mini ramp. Just like when it does the Z, Ew, like dude. when you break it. Yeah, like, good. Oh. That's how my arm was when I broke it. Yeah, it just looks gross. You're like, Ugh. I've been fortunate. I've never had a, a break that I could see. You know, I found out you later that I had like dog. a hairline fracture or something, but nothing major. You lucky dog. Lucky. It was so. I broke I mine. <laughs> my dad took me inside and put me on the couch, but I was wearing a hoodie. And he was like, well, you just sprained it. We'll just wait till your mother gets home. <laughs> she gets home like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes later. And she she lifts up my sleeve and it's like oh, down yeah. here, and she's like, "You didn't take this kid to the hospital." He's like, oh, "I thought it was a sprain." You know, <laughs> Dad, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> yes, but yeah, it's well, traumatizing. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's pretty like, bad. Yes. Oh, After seeing that, I'm like, I don't, I don't do. Did you have to do like the Chinese finger trap and pull it down? No. And luckily, it. he was able to place it. Actually, that's a lot. Is that what they had to do with you? Mm-hmm. So we went in and he wrapped it. And then I go home for a couple of weeks, come back for an x-ray, and it's not set right. Oh. So I had to go into surgery. They had to put me under. Re-break, re-break it. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I re-break that it. Shit. And then reset Fuck it. Really? that. But I didn't have to do pins or anything like that. I, I never had to do pins, but I remember, you know, they give you anesthesia. So when they put you under, and so yeah. what they do if like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I so, remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you remember that? Like yeah. they put your fingers in Chinese finger traps, and then they pull it down. No, yeah. no, no. They just pull it down. Right. And then they set it. Right. And then it'll pull back in but i remember waking up and this dude was like straddling my arm because i didn't have enough anesthesia <laughs> and i started freaking out yeah that was a, it was a crazy day altogether and then and also watched them like what are you doing well yeah and then when they first gave me the anesthesia because i broke it in atlanta my buddy joel the one that we were talking about in the last podcast he uh he took me to the hospital and so they give me morphine and i get you know never done drugs so i was just like oh, okay cool morphine and i started like getting loopy and all of a sudden, I hear, like, the loudest fart. <laughs> and I'm like, I, like, you know, I'm, like, laying in the bed. I lift my head up, and I was like, Joel. You know, thinking I'm whispering. I was like, Joel, was that you? And he's like, he starts to smile. He's like, I was like, and then the nurse is right here. I was like, was it her? <laughs> but I, like, said it. I said it out loud, and he's like. <laughs> and then, like, later when I, like, came back from surgery and all that, or not surgery, but, you know, like, getting all wrapped and everything, and he's like, well, way to blame your fart on the uh, the nurse, you know, because it was oh, me damn. the whole time. I just it, got, like, woke you up. Yeah, yeah, but I, it was so loud. And I was like, oh, damn, was like, that, was, that was me. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, so like I apologize to that speak. nurse, whoever she is, wherever she is. That was embarrassing. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, prior to you taking that slam, it was like a few pictures before uh, the gap over that big rail into the bank that actually landed you the cover of the Skate John. Yeah, yeah. That was sick, man. That was really, really rad. That's here. Um, that was in Hoover. Yeah. Oh, that is really. Yeah, it's no. across from. Um, it's right next to the Galleria. It's go back up, 31. Katie. Go back up. It's right there. Right down, down, down. Down right, right there. there. Yeah. That's right by um, the Galleria. Yep. It's, Dude, everybody's massive, looked at it. Everybody's massive. looked at it for years, but no one. It's at the Galleria. It's by it. It's on the other side of 459. Okay. But just past it. Dude, so, I didn't know that was in Alabama. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, what, it's Schaefer Inter, I, Schaefer Eye Center off 31, like right before you get to. Like what the, what is that car dealership across the street? Is it the Cadillac? Honda Cadillac? I think is it Honda? Okay. I thought, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that thing's been there forever. No one's just ever stepped to it. How did you get that the day <laughs> you tried it? Huh. Was that a multi? Did you get I'm that sure. the first day that you went there to try it? Yeah, um, my friend Tyler. He came into town and we were actually filming for the second video. Um, yeah, and I was like, yeah, I had all, all this stuff. That I got I this just, part, man. Or this place I want to go to. Let's yeah, go check it out. <laughs> I just like had everything tallied or like written down in my head. I was like, dude, I want to go to this because I'd looked at it for so long. And mm-hmm. I looked at that for a long time. I was like, nah, nah. It's dude. It's perfect for what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. Scary. It's huge. It's massive. Yeah, I was stoked on that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. I sick, was man. really stoked that they used it for the cover. I was like, I don't know. What. So, how does a magazine like Skate John get in touch with you to like, hey, we think about putting this on the cover and doing a little interview with you and stuff? Do you know um, Daniel Lawson, D Law Photos? Yes, vaguely. He yes. Uh, just shooting with him. He and him shooting photos of people around. Just 
had some connect over at Skate John. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, lead, he's the man. Yeah, he's the man. And we just shot a bunch of stuff, and, you know, he sent it into them, and they were like, yeah, I guess we'll use it. I didn't know it was going to be a cover at the time, though. Dude, yeah. Yeah, or in, they did an interview and everything, and it was cool. And then they was, mail you the magazine, and you're like, oh, my God, I'm on the dude, front. They sent me a bunch of copies. Like, uh, the, when they sent it to me, I was out west, and they sent me, like, a whole I still have them. They sent me probably like 100 copies. Like, <laughs> Lifetime. He's going to want like yeah. a bunch of these. So I'm like, I just need one. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I still right. have a whole box of them. I'm like, I'm probably just giving them to my mom or something. I don't know. Mm. But yeah. Cool. Well, congrats, they man. They hooked it really up. Cool. Dude, Skate John, fucking Daniel Lawson, fucking D-Lo. D-Lo. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, that name sounds familiar. I probably recognize him if I saw him. I don't think we like were friends or anything. But uh, He's a shit. He's yeah. a shit. He's a sick dude. Well, cool, man. So, what are you doing nowadays? Uh, once you head back out west, just keep skating, working, just hanging out. I work at Amazon, freaking skating. Okay, surfing. He usually facetimes me when he's in the Amazon van. I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you're out like delivering and stuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. delivery. Drive okay. Delivery. Been there for like a year now. Mm-hmm. They've been it's sick been a minute. to like. Shit. Kept a job through the like pandemic and everything. So oh, yeah. yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. Well, I think in the skate interview, they were like, what are you up to? Or are you skating full-time? And you're like, no, I'm parking cars, uh, yeah. <laughs> doing valet. And oh, stuff yeah, like driving this. Bentleys and stuff. <laughs> yeah. When I was here, I was doing valet up at the Country Club um, in Birmingham. The one yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. And then I was working at Faith part-time, like on the weekends here and there. And I just had like a manual labor job. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So, yeah, I was working a bunch and then dipped out there, started working. It's like literally the same thing I was doing here. Yeah. Just working. <laughs> but know? to us, you're like living the dream. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you it's not the case. He's doing it. <laughs> Dude, I know Huntington, man. It's got to be like crazy expensive. Y'all like um, in a house with like 10 dudes all splitting the rent or something? Or how's that lucky. work? I got lucky when I was in Huntington. I don't, my friend comes for money. So. Oh, you're in Long Beach now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm in Long Beach now. Now. Yeah, okay. Now cool. it's me and a bunch of homies. We're all, you know. Hunting. Yeah. How many, yeah. People, how many people do you live with? You can't live with less than four. It's six. Six See, people. What yeah, I say, that's what, what I say. It, I knew. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, man. Because yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So expensive. I'm not going to ask you what you pay, but is it expensive? Affordable. Okay. That's why I'm there. Okay. And also, they're like my best friends, so it's okay, super yeah. sick. Like, we all, yeah, cool. We have a good all system. All skate together and stuff. And everybody respects each other's space and does their thing. Yeah. I work. I come home, sit on the couch, roll up, we'll hang out, <laughs> you know, watch some TV. Yeah. yeah. Skate, surf, whatever. Dude, that's awesome, man. Living the dream. That's really Living cool, dude. I, can, I honestly can't complain. I know some people would probably be like, oh, you're just fucking California. Stuff I would, whatever, but just because I'm like, old. But yeah, dude, when I was doing it, dude. when I lived out there, it was the dream. So. Yeah, I'm going to do it as, I mean, as long until as you I get sick of it, I guess. Or yeah. Until my body's like, yeah, you can't do this. Yeah, you're little. <clears throat> I think you're going to last a long time, so it should be good. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it. My knees are fucking aching. Oh, here we go. Right, talking about skateboarding, you know, kind of appealing to, I guess, kids that don't really want to be involved in, like, so much team sports and stuff. I know, like, when I was a teenager, it just didn't appeal to me. I did not care to yeah. get into football or baseball or any of that stuff. And I was in all that. You know, I was in soccer. I was in baseball. I was in basketball. But then I saw a kid, you know, just skating by himself, looking like he had the best time. I'm getting yelled at, you know, by my soccer coach of the middle school team. And I'm just like, <laughs> dude, I was like, this guy gets to do whatever he wants, you know? And so that's kind of what how I got into it. And then, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a weird one. Yeah, like we were talking about earlier before we put the headphones back on, just like, kind of that single mother you know mm-hmm. like you have this weird drive to do something you want to do something you know uh, i think i'm just a mama's uh, i'm a mama's boy i'm sure you are too me too I met mama spinosi earlier she's a shit um <laughs> but no out. it's just a shout out to mama yeah. spinosi yeah. Shout mama out Spinozzi, she's tight um she's the one. yeah but no it's just like going back to the Huntsville thing is like you know I want to be there for people that kind of go through those same things where you're not feeling involved in sports maybe school maybe something like that so it would be cool for the community and I'd like to be a part of that so Mm -hmm. stuff like that so anyway I know we just turned the headphones back on and probably lost a lot of (laughs) half of the shit I said but anyway no man I remember um, just getting into skating like it just looked like so much fun like I could have way more fun doing this than anything else that's I literally do. why I quit sports yeah man and I saw uh, my buddy skating like I said like, while I was getting my ass chewed I want to do that yeah while well, I was um, getting my ass chewed by some big ass motherfucker and I was like god damn it I, like, I gotta do something different here like, why am I listening to you yeah <laughs> you know yeah. so I remember we pulled up in front of uh, 
a video rental store. And I was with my mom, and we were like getting ready for a Friday night at home. We're gonna rent whatever the latest movie was, and uh, <laughs> a group of kids from our little town Ghost were message. hanging out up there. Yeah, it was probably it was, <laughs> just kidding. Um, Jurassic Park. We're hanging out at that area, and one of them ollied like up on the curb, and I was like. Whoa, yeah, dude, how did it. he do that? Yeah, it's mind blowing when you don't know what it is it's at like, the time. But he didn't like grab it. He just like made it and it just that's all I could think about. That was it. That was it. I was yeah. like, I want a skateboard. Oh, I want a skateboard so bad. So Yeah, um, so anyway, back to our little buddy over here. <laughs> Star of the show. I don't have anything to say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I just want to like create like a community <laughs> where I come from, like talking about the Huntsville thing again. Mm-hmm. You know, because Faith has that like that's why you know we kind of like keep our heads on our shoulders because I think Peter said it in his interview. It's like you know try to mentor or give a give a safe space to people, and that would be cool to do in Huntsville because like I was talking about about bad things that have happened to people up there. It'd be cool to create a community that Peter's created here, and yeah. there's not even a skate park here, and there's a skate park there. Yeah, and there hasn't been a community like created up there yet, and. Mm for faith to be able to open up one there would be cool you know everybody knows faith that if you're from alabama and you skateboard you know about faith right so that was kind of what was going on but well stoked about the park i know we've talked about it a lot on the past couple of podcasts but man (sighs) park building can still move by then dude it's gonna be it's gonna be rad so you you've skated a lot of parks um probably more than i've ever gotten to skate uh that one i was watching just kind of doing a deep dive on your instagram and internet videos and stuff it was like the vans park it's yeah. like a big plaza that's in huntington that's in huntington that okay, was my cool. like local park for dude i'm so, so jealous long. man that's so yeah. rad and it, it sucks too because uh, those rails are huge though aren't they not they're big rails yeah, yeah they're huge it's a training facility i don't know really <laughs> it's a <laughs> training i was tripped out i was like that rail's big it's like the modern day prefab park <laughs> i never <laughs> skated there so i don't know it's all right well, yeah they added a bunch of stuff and now it's kind of like a mess Not, there's just like a bunch of shit there but mm. is it crowded all the time that's what i was yeah. about to ask is it well, crowded it's been shut down but yeah before you would yeah. go and there'd be like i mean it'd be like a contest it'd be like tampa you know wow. like you'd go there and there'd be like 50 kids skating the park and everybody's super good just everybody's just super good everybody. yeah everybody's super good you have well, me and my friends always joke about it comparing it i also compare it to surfing too it's like i would go to huntington the vans park and there'd be like the baseball dads of the skateboard world and there'd be a bunch of kids you know they're just training their kids for the olympics yeah and um they got, they got the, they got the, uh, the microphone yeah do it again do, do it, it better again. do it better like, that's a little sloppy on that yeah. you need to basically i swear Wax i probably it. heard the same shit are you sure you're regular footed try it the other way uh-huh. see yeah. if that feels better it's just like a breeding ground for the next olympian skater you know like that you can make money off of skateboarding now if you're in the olympics like so get your kid in there as quick as you can and then seeing it with surfing too it's like every kid rips they're all so good and they're like super cocky and did you like, get your invite to the olympics yet no, dude, I'm still waiting on They it. hadn't mailed you the board yeah. that says, you know, join our team or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Fuck. They're kind of blowing it right now. But. Are they still <laughs> doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I know they uh, <laughs> step it up. I know. What's the timeline on that? I know they've, like, pushed everything back due to, like, COVID and stuff. <clears throat> and um, some of the. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with that. It'll be a while until. He hasn't got his invite. He hasn't anything yet. Yeah, I don't know. Dude. Your thoughts on the skateboarding being part of the Olympics? I don't, Who cares? I don't know. Okay. I don't Who care. cares? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's gonna go taking off to like such a huge scale. Like in the next ten years, skateboarding everything will blow up. So it's already like oversaturated. I know we're gonna be skating on the moon and shit. Yeah. I think it's sick that people care enough for, about skating that it's in the Olympics. So yeah. They're like, yeah. oh, we want to see like world class skaters. Like we want to. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. You know, it's kind of cool to see that it's gotten to that level. Yeah. There's just old dogs out there that like I don't hate really, on it and stuff. I don't. Yeah. I don't care like, either. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I, don't, I don't really care either but uh, dude if i could get a gold medal you know you know just hearing your whole life, i guess if i was in the sport like professionally and like working your ass off to to make a career out of it and then finally you hear like hey you could get a gold medal doing this and be like an olympian <laughs> if you got a gold that, medal to me i'd just be like dude i'm yeah i'm doing it for mom yeah if, a- if you got a gold medal i would steal that shit and hide it from you forever <laughs> please do sell yeah. it on the black market oh yeah melt it down yeah I, I, yeah exactly that I, way i think i don't know it's just gotten to such a i don't know it's like accepted 
skateboarding is like accepted yeah, yeah. it just it, 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 it changes like, all the time cool now, yeah you know Which, and, it, and it could go back to not being cool so enjoy it while it lasts so yeah, it's just the cycles but yeah i agree i think sure. you know we kind of talked about that with uh with peter that we had on just the way the culture has changed and it seems like <coughs> birmingham is always like 10 years behind the rest of the world but like everybody's into like you know outdoor activities and and you know cycling and skating and i think that's all kind of fed into like the popularity you know yeah skateboarding coming back up and i know it goes in waves and stuff but yeah that's what i say it goes in waves and like if it wasn't popular at the time that when i was coming up i would have never had a career you know and alec wouldn't have an opportunity to like go to california and be on you know flow for companies because back in the day it was few and far between like gilly making it was rare yeah back then you know and then uh yeah for me i just happen to know the right people and i think i think you would speak the same for yourself I just happen to know the right people right now it's been yeah it's been because of the people the people have just like looked out really yeah well. yeah it's been i've but, been fucking hooked up like, yeah enough you know yeah but like jamie and ben both like making out alabama back then mm-hmm. i think it was a lot different than i guess myself at my time making out of here He's just too good, so everybody just thinks. I don't know. I don't know what they think about you. It's an oddball. But, you know. <laughs> Still my thing. I think skating <laughs> teaches people lessons like the trial and error. You know, sure. I think you can learn a lot from skating. So the fact that it's blowing up here and that the shop's doing so well, it's like I don't know. It speaks for itself. I mean, people always say like, you know, they you know, skateboarding has <clears throat> that like association of like you know, people that are. The rec- stigma. Re- the stigma. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But if it wasn't for skateboarding, it's the only thing that kept me out of trouble. It's because I would just go to the skate park. And then yeah. I come back to school on Monday, and then it's like, so and so got this chick pregnant. So and so, you know, got into drugs. So and so is doing this and robbed this car. I'm like, well, I was just skateboarding. So the stigma yeah. behind it is pretty lame and whatever. It is what it is. But I always thought that skateboarding kept me out of all the bullshit. Any time I've ever gotten into bullshit in my life is because I wasn't skateboarding. So, I would probably agree with that. I think yeah. I think back to some of the times I got in trouble, and it was like when I wasn't skating, you know, so trying to hang out with the wrong crowd or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but talking about uh, you know getting into surfing and just other board sports and stuff, one thing I saw that the barrack po- barracks posted. Have y'all seen this like snow skating yeah. thing? Dude, that, that part that came out, dude. dude that what's his was name? insane, uh, dude. Injured yes he's a pyramid country dude he's amazing he's a, so good he's All right, so oh, good he's so good at skating he's a, we gotta pull this up yeah he's not, so good at sn- I, snow skating i don't know what what is a snow All right, skating? So, it's called what's his name it's like a skate david david trucks what's his name okay dave, david dave injure so andrew david van injure or something like e- a snowboard with no straps or whatever e- it's yes. fucked no it's an e <laughs> it's fucked okay it's super e- fucked e-n-g-e-r e-n-g-e-r yeah, search yeah, that. I think like those oh, weights. This, this dude knows. Like those that uh, one, that first video. Oh, it's this fucked out. up. And dude. this guy can kill it on and a he's skateboard. He's like nolly fifty in the rail and like he's from boarding this crazy and shit, yeah. lift slide. This I dude was, is insane on a skateboard. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He's like he rips just as hard on a just a skateboard. Okay, know? so he does have a skating. Oh, obviously mm-hmm. he would. But man, Look at I this was shit. like. How? I was like, this How? is the future, dude. This is the future. This is insane. If we lived in snow, yeah, it'd be so fun. I would eat shit on that all day. And we never get snow in Alabama, but never. I do remember one time it snowed, and it was probably just like a dusting, but we had like maybe an inch of snow on the ground, and I went and grabbed my board and took the trucks off. Was that recently? No, this was like... This wasn't the snow apocalypse. Was, but it doesn't no, it slide. It though. doesn't slide. Yeah. I went and threw down, and it just sank. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It's, it's like the wood wet. It yeah. Just sticks. Yeah. It just sticks. It was not thing. like what we're watching here, but I watched this video on a... It came up because I followed the barracks, and I was like, dude, this is the gnarliest thing I've ever seen. Dude, you should look at this, like, just normal skate parts. They're fucked up, too. This is crazy. Yeah, he, he's like 6'4", so he can ollie super fucking hot. And he does this wild, little, little yeah, nose does, grind. That's crazy. He does wild shit. Yeah, dude, how many <laughs> slams do you think he's you taking? You can't do that. No, <laughs> but you think you can psych yourself up because if you slam, you're just falling in snow. I don't know, man. Like, it's do hard you give yourself that false that. hope? I think maybe I would. I don't know. That's how I get when I snowboard. If I snowboard, I look like an idiot out there because oh, yeah. I'm just like, oh, I got this, and then I just eat shit. I've Yo, we didn't take our. Too. 
We didn't take our snowboard trip this year. <gasps> no, we didn't. You guys do snowboard trips? Mm-hmm. We used to years come. ago. I'm it's down. Awesome. I love snowboarding. It's so sick. But we don't go out to like the real mountains. <laughs> we just go to like North Carolina and play That's on the bunny hills. It's big enough. It's, it's big enough. It's yeah. big for us. Big enough. Yeah, yeah exactly. Dude, I bitch, I'm from Alabama too. Dude, it's so it's fun, enough. man. Um, but I think we went like three years in a row, and the last year we went. It was like a oh, heat wave. Oh yeah, it was too hot. Like like really. we're peel, peeling off layers and this, it's like snowboarding on slush. You know. No, oh, I went. Just, um, it was crappy. I went in shit February and Denver, and it was so hot. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe it's I like normal. just had a t-shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's fucking hot as hell. Well, it was melting. Luckily, I didn't snow, fall, but a lot of mud and stuff, and I was like, "This is drag." But we timed it right because we I had kind of been paying attention to the weather. So the first time we ever went to North Carolina, Boone, North Carolina is the city. I think it is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think I've been there actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it actually snowed, so they do man-made snow, obviously, because they don't get enough snowfall mm-hmm. to to do it. But we got there and it actually it snowed for real, yeah. and it was like nice, fluffy snow. And and obviously, I have nothing to compare it to. So for me, it was like just the raddest perfect. experience. It was perfect. Yeah. You know, never I mean, seen snow, snow. Snow. We're from Alabama. We Dude. can't be bitching about that it was, shit. It was, it was sick. Beggars can't be choosers. No, yeah, beggars can't be choosers. But so yeah. you got you got skateboarding, you got surfing, you got snowboarding on your belt too. I've never been. I just Whoa! Had, I, yeah, I asked well, him. To use, All right, he's coming to. Like, he's yeah. coming yeah. on the track. No, yeah, no. snowboard trip. That'd be cool. I, I would love to. It's <laughs> so so fun. So much more fun than surfing. I was so? actually disappointed. 100%. I don't know. I kind of take that personally. Shots fired. You can take it personal, but yeah, I, I mean, we can step outside. All right. Right, let's go. We're here. <laughs> I'm a slow learner, but man, I thought I would take snowboarding like really quickly, and I was surprised at how. I was humbled when I could not even like. Stand I don't up. get that because I was the opposite. I was surprised, dude. How I was getting, I, I was getting, getting so mad. I was like punching the ground. I was like, "Fuck! I can't stand up." It's, it's, sucks. it's just different than skating because it's dude, all back foot. I yeah. could, yes, yeah. And once I started, it, finally it clicked. But man, I was like, I thought I would be like awesome at this in like the first ten minutes, and I was really surprised yeah. at how much I sucked at it. Look, man, it's not the person. I, I just don't like sharks. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I still have yet to go snowboard. Dude, it's so fun. It's it's like, okay, here's dude. my advice. So the way that I learned is I got on the chairlift uh-huh. and I didn't get off on the right ramp. Oh yeah. So yeah. I got stuck at the top of the mountain, and you can't. There is no walking down or something. Oh, like you yeah, just have fucked. to. Like, you're on the double. You're you on the black to, like, diamonds. Do it. Yeah. You have to just go from there. Yes. Yeah. Very slowly, kind of back and yeah. forth. But once you get to the bottom, you're like, shit, I got this, and you're just like hauling ass. The hardest part <laughs> is getting off the lift without running into someone that you're on the lift with. No, no, no. you might as well just like just body flop, flop and just slide down. <laughs> no, never, never. But it is hard, like getting off the lift. If you're like, it's say very you're, say, say you're three. You, you keep one foot clicked in and you're kind of like skating yeah, yeah. yeah whoever's in the middle is getting fucked <laughs> and go this way go this way yeah <laughs> yeah and then the person in the middle is just catching that leg that's like flying off from you know trying to keep it straight but it's sketchy it's like you get hurt before you even try it Kinda. i've heard of so many people getting hurt on the lift oh yeah. like just getting off the lift or it's off. so fun to watch people eat shit i mean i've been there too. they have to stop the lift and everybody's mad oh they're so like, mad so so cool. you gotta get off the off. lift get off the chair just starfish and just slide <laughs> get out of the way <laughs> and then it's over it's done and you I mean, just, just crawl out the way yeah yeah, yeah I'm gonna, I'm you gonna do that awkward that like one foot push that one foot push it's oh, pretty fun. Dude, cool. we should do a snowboard trip. Peter likes snowboarding. Want to. Okay, let's right. I'm down, yeah, man. Peter's That'd like super down for snowboarding. Let's I've go. got snowboard gear at the house. So. We won't talk shit. We'll just make it happen. We'll just make it happen. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk shit. Peter. We'll talk Sorry, I take back all that stuff about the ocean. But love it. <laughs> it's okay. It's not for everybody. So uh-huh. so you're you're living the California dream. Um, yeah. <laughs> any any uh, Anything that you do miss, I know, like, I haven't been out there for two years. Yeah, what do you miss about Alabama? Because yeah. you live, and look at that Dude. golden locks. My mom. I miss yeah, yeah. people here, like my friends, like my family. But like other things, me. like just, just like. I miss you. Things like I know for me it was like Milo's. Like I was like, dude, I miss Milo's so much. Falafel <sighs> Cafe. Falafel. falafel. Shouts oh, out to them, dude. Shouts but, out. Yeah, falafel best cafe. falafel rap I've ever. They gotta have good falafel out there somewhere. Uh, I went to a shawarma place like a month ago. Like they just opened up this new place in Long Beach. It was way too expensive, and it wasn't mm. half as good as the one that they make it falafel cafe. You big into like barbecue at all? Yeah, yeah. They don't, barbecue. Barbecue's not, okay. they don't have barbecue. Barbecue's not. They don't have barbecue. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I've, I'll, I've I'll never tell. even like made the attempt to try it there. Like I'll see really? barbecue spots and I'm like, like, I'm psh. just gonna let them like think that they know what they're doing. It's not barbecue. <laughs> you know, it's awful. It can't be. Yeah, yeah I've now, heard a lot of shit about it too. Like I don't know. Are you in the camp that despises or really likes In and Out? Oh God, here we go. Uh, it's pretty like neutral to me. Neutral. Okay. I don't, I don't. Okay, compared to what a burger. 
What's mm. your guess? Whataburger take? hits. That is damn <laughs> yeah. right it hits. Whataburger always just hits home. You know, it's super good. Amen. That's a good burger. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, whatever it's shit. Hey, everybody I talk to, I hey, guess num- I, the number four. If you don't know what number four is, then we can't be friends. Huh? Is it Whataburger or Waterburger? What a Whataburger. Because I hear what people upper. say it differently all the time. Those people are wrong. They're wrong. It's Whataburger. <laughs> you, you just said Whataburger. Yeah, I, I'll say it like that every once in a while because my mom says water. 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 For water. Is she from the north? She's from South Carolina. Huh. And she says water. I'm like, why are you calling water water? My roommate, one of my best friends, he says water and he's from Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh, so yeah. I don't know. I was just curious. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know another thing about food? <laughs> um, fucking uh, T Bones. <clears throat> yeah. The Philly cheese place? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been to Philly about three different times. Ain't nothing compared to T Bones. Dude, T Bones really? slaps. It's so good. It's so good. And I get so frustrated when I go to Philadelphia because they have nothing compared to T Bones. So mm. just shout out to local food, T Bones. Yeah, okay. Give me a free cheese stick. There's good yeah, food yeah. here. I Philly miss the food weekend. here. Let yeah, dude, the food is really good in Birmingham. Dude, I think so, man. She, um, my wife has a like her best friend moved to Ohio, and that was her first complaint after being out there for a couple of months. It's just like the food is terrible, mm-hmm. you yeah. know. And um, so I don't know, maybe that's something we take for granted, just having like all the I think we don't realize good yeah. Southern food, you know. I don't yeah, know. I think it's just for me at least, it's like nostalgic. Like I didn't really think about it until I was out there, and obviously I love the food there too. But sure. now I'm like back, and I'm like, damn, I forgot what this is like. My mom, when I got home, she cooked a bunch of Christmas food and, like, just spoiled me with, like, a bunch of fattening food. Oh, yeah. We all gained, like, 15 pounds over the past No wonder you're looking bigger, son of a bitch. I'm dude. I'm a skinny person. I'm a small person. Yes, you are. That's hard. (laughs) Must be nice. Well, is there anything in Long Beach I need to check out that I couldn't get here on the East Coast or down here in the South? Um, Pad Thai Classic. Pad Thai Classic. If you're ever in Long Beach, 7th Ave, Stanley Ave, or (laughs) 7th, 7th Street, Stanley Ave. It's right by. Oh, I like that you just know that thai. off the top of your head. Good Thai food. They're really fucking sick. If you ever come out there, let me know. I would definitely, there. yeah. There's yeah, now I know somebody. I'm going to have an excuse to come out there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, me too. So, there's a couple places like that where they got some good food. I found a couple spots here and there. Cool. Mm-hmm. The Mexican food out there is hard to hard to beat. It's hard to beat. I've had Burrito better shops, Mexican food here. Though. Taco shops. It's hard to beat. <laughs> I love like breakfast burritos and stuff. That was always my thing. Katie I just like it. California burritos. Those are the, the shit fries in them. Yeah, you like that? Fuck yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, French fries weird. on anything, baby. <laughs> kind of weird. I thought that was so crazy to me when somebody was like, "Oh, you got to try Californ- California burrito, bro." Yeah. You can put French fries in a taco. Well, it just seemed like I was like, "This is like the widest thing I've ever had." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Why? Why?" I mean, you're not wrong there, but I just thought it was crazy. I thought it was crazy too, but I was like, "Yeah, I'll fuck with this." And then once I had one, I was like, "Oh, okay, fuck yeah." It's not bad. I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Yeah. Well, dude, thanks so much for coming to hang and kind of talking for skating me again. All that. And Talking shit. Talking a bunch of Talking shit. shit. This is Talking awesome. shit. Let's yeah. go snowboarding. Let's go. Hey, before we go, though, uh, we didn't have it last episode, but we do have them this episode. We oh, got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, some t-shirts we want to give you guys. What's, oh, what, uh, yeah, what sizes are you guys? You uh, 3XL. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. Will you, throw us, will you throw us two shirts over here? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a little... Uh, you just throw them. I didn't even know he was doing this, man. He um, he came in with a box Wait, today. Yeah. I was like, oh, we got shirts. Over here. Zach yeah. Fuck yeah, Zach. Woo! Uh, here's an XL. That'll work for me. What do you need? Uh, three XL, need but XL will work. Just, three X? I'm just You're joking. It was a joke. I got jokes, man. I think I could probably wait. Large might dry. work because I could shrink it down to what I needed. Can I open this up a, already? You yeah, need go a medium. For it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Damn. We printed up some heavy ultra shirts. We want to start giving out to our. Guests, I just want to so. say that I didn't even know he was doing this. He Damn, walked in today sick. and was Give like, me some. Yeah, bro. "Thank you." He was like, "Hey, I made some shirts." Thank you, guys. What the hell? This is crazy. I think if I wash this, it'll be perfect. Okay. okay. Well, cool. if you need another size, I can mail it to you. No yeah. big deal. I'll just I'll lose weight if, if I have to. Too, so. or, cool. gain, or gain weight if yeah, I have no to. Yeah, no worries. Before I leave. No worries. Thank you, guys. Fuck well, yeah. dude, thanks for coming to hang, man. Super awesome meeting you, Alec. And uh, James, always likewise. a pleasure. Yeah. Until yeah. next time. Until next time. Peace out. Sounds good.